Hello my friends, it's So Good the Geek here, and for this review, we're going to take a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Direct Damian Wayne Robin figure. I am so excited this, for this figure. I love Damian Wayne. I love the Frank Quietly Grant Morrison run on Batman, and Batman and Robin specifically with Dick Grayson and Damian Wave as, Wayne as the dynamic duo. And man, I gotta say, just looking at this figure, you know now having it in hand it looks phenomenal i did get to see this at um san diego comic-con a few months ago it looked really awesome there but it looks like the final production version it just looks great look at that head sculpt and then you get a professor pig uh torn in half uh mask i love how it's very specific to the storyline that accessory but yeah really excited about this so without further ado let's get him out of the package and take a closer look all right, so here's Damien outside of the packaging. You get a very lovely Batman and Robin number one reprint. I love this comic so much. Ah, I love the way Grant Morrison is able to tell really awesome, complete stories within a few issues. You know, this is like, I think, just a, a three-issue arc, and it's done so well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So much story in here. Lo oh, I love this so much. And man, if we get a flying Batmobile from McFarlane, I will be very happy about that. So there you go. You get Batman and Robin number one with the beautiful Frank Quietly artwork, uh, Grant Morrison, the writer, of course. And yeah, oh, look at that. Let's see this action figure photography right there from Aesthetic One on Instagram, the McFarlane uh, photographer. Amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Ah, love that so much. We still need a, a panther suit Batman, though. But love this from Aesthetic One. But yeah, there you go. So just while I have this up, comparing the figure to, you know, the comic, obviously the biggest, um, I don't say error or difference, is just the boots. You know, the ones you, you can see here in the artwork, they go a little bit higher. They're laced up higher. Um, the ones that he's wearing are more like sneakers, so shorter. But um, that's it. You know, that's the only major flaw. I didn't say flaw. The only difference I see. Other than that, man, I think they really nailed this com this costume, bringing it to plastic. And we'll get into, into the figure more in a little bit. But yeah, again, just this, the sneakers, the boots is the only, you know, noticeable difference, I think. But for me, I don't care. I like what he's wearing. And I, I still really love this figure. So there you go. But yeah, there's the there's that. Um, then there's the Professor Pig mask. I kind of wish this was one piece, because I don't know what I'm going to do with these two pieces. I mean, I guess you could just glue them together. Look, I already dropped the other piece on the floor. But there it is. There's the pig mask. And I really hope we get a pig action figure. That would be that would be great. And they're just kind of coming together there. Looks like Porky Pig right there. So, yeah, there there's the pig mask. And, yeah, so there's that. Then there's the trading card, of course. Beautiful artwork there, bio on the back, yada, yada, yada. And then here is the figure. And man, look at that. You get a wired cape and a wired hoodie as well. Love it. Uh, my one, the stitching's coming out a little bit. I just want to trim that later. But other than that, I love this hood. I like the way it can drape down over, over him like that, over his face. It's wired, so it just, you know, you could really, you know, do things with it. If you want to, and I think it looks fantastic. Then you, there's the back of the the hood there. And yeah, so you, uh, there we go. Taking it off, revealing the, the head sculpt. And man, what a fantastic head sculpt. Ah, this is, I think for me, the definitive Damien Wayne. This is my favorite incarnation of Damien. My favorite suit that he wore. And, you know, look look at that. I love the, the blue in his hair. Very comic book-esque, great range of motion with the head. They got that little Damien smugness going on, but not not too smuggy, but definitely smuggy. Mask looks good. Robin emblem looks great. Again, there are the, the boots or the sneakers, whatever you want to call them. There's the pants, the legs, some nice texture there. His gauntlets, you know, very uh, similar to... to to Dick Grayson's and I will of course have him do a comparison with him and Dick Grayson Batman obviously and then there's a sword and yeah it would have been nice if he came with an extra set of hands so you could have an extra closed fist for the right hand but yeah I mean 
I love this guy. This guy looks amazing. Ah, and I love the wired cape. It looks awesome. Love that the hood is actually a hood. And yeah, I just, I just totally dig this figure. As far as articulation goes, yeah, let's see. You get some good range of motion with the arms, the legs, there's the toe. Doesn't really do much in the chest area. Oh, there's the hips. Yeah, you can, you can move them around like that. Not much of an ab crunch there. But I much prefer this look than the more, um, well, when they had that kind of cut for the articulation in the middle. I just love that they put this extra piece of plastic over it instead. And I just it just looks great. And look at the shading there. You see underneath, if you can see it on the camera. You get some like, you know, giving it that little bit of 2D, 2D look. Ah, oh, so great. Yeah, this is a really great figure, guys. Man, this is definitely my favorite Damian Wayne ever. The DC D Direct one has finally been surpassed, and this is definitely my favorite Damian Wayne. Anyways, let's see how he looks next to Batman. All right, so there they are. There's Batman and Robin, and they look great together. The The size for Robin, I think, is, is fantastic. You know, he's obviously a teenager, looks very young. He's not too short, not too tall. I think they got the size pretty good here. I think he's probably a little bit shorter in the comics, but I think this works great. He looks like a young kid next to Batman, and that's what you want to go for, right? Some of the, the younger sidekicks have been a little bit too big for McFarlane toys. Uh, so this one I think is fantastic. I would love to see more figures in the scale or with this body. But uh, yeah, he looks awesome. Look at that. Look at these two. I can't believe we got a Batman and Robin with Frank Quietly artwork for their heads. You know what I mean? That's just fantastic. And they look great. They look really nice together. This is one of my favorite Batman figures. And this might be my favorite Robin figure, if I'm being honest there. It's just, they just look so, so great together. But there it is. Uh, let's see how he looks next to a few other McFarlane figures. All right, so here's Robin next to the Batman Family Fiveback Damien and the New Frontier Damien over on the right. As you can see, he scales really nicely with these. He's not, he's definitely a little bit shorter, but not by much. They're almost the same size. And I just love seeing this evolution of the Damien Wayne costume in front of our eyes here. So yeah, he looks great next to these guys. Again, definitely my, my favorite Damien from McFarlane. I think from from anything i think it definitely beats the dc direct one as well but yeah i love this face sculpt there and yeah i just love the smirk everything about it but anyways uh let's do a few more comparisons let's see how he looks next to uh bruce wayne all right there he is next to the hush batman and this is the upcoming amazon exclusive uh nightwing that comes in the court of owls uh three pack so there you go um, but yeah, final thoughts, obviously glowing recommendation for me on this. Love this guy so much. Beautiful figure. I still believe you can probably pre-order it. This isn't a platinum or exclusive, anything like that. So you should be able to get this if you want it. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Anything else look off to you other than the boots? I think for me, this is just a fantastic Damien Robin. Love the proportions. Love the um, interpretation of the Frank Quietly artwork, bringing it to plastic, it just looks great. And yeah, I definitely have to snip those little loose, loose threads, but look at that, we got an articulated cape, articulated hood. Man, just a all around awesome Damian Wayne figure. So there it is. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.